Good day, students. Last week we stopped at um, functions of adverb. We looked at adverb. We said adverb modifies verb, adjective, and another adverb. Today we want to look at the functions of adverb. I think we've treated adverb of place last week, but I will start all over again. The functions of adverb. Now, adverb of time. Adverb of, sorry, adverb of place. Adverb of place. I told you last week that adverb of place tells us where an action is being performed. Where an action is being performed. That is, we have here, there, the, the place where an action is actually performed. That is all about an uh, uh, adverb of place. Adverb of time. Adverb of time talks about when. It answers the question of when. When an action is being performed. That is, the actual time that an action is being performed. Maybe in the morning yesterday, last year, recently. Do you understand? So that is all about adverb of time. Let me give you an ex ex example. I said adverb of time shows when an action takes place. It shows when an action take, take place. For instance, I've mentioned some earlier on. Soon, afterwards, now, recently, yesterday. Let me give you a sentence as an example. I will be back soon. I will be back soon. Soon in this sentence is an adverb because it tells us the time I will be back. Another one is this. Toby killed a cow yesterday. Yesterday in this context is an adverb. Adverb telling us the time to be killed a cow. I hope you are follow following me. The second one is time. The first one is place. That is, we can have here, there. ETC. Why the second one is adverb of time? It shows us when, the particular time, the period of an action. Are you getting it now? Let's quickly rush to the, set, the third one, which is adverb of degree. Adverb of degree. This tells us the, tells us the extent of which an act, action is being performed. The extent of, at which an action is being performed or event happens. They include very, too, quiet, so, really, much. I will repeat. They include very, to, so, quite, really, and much. The music was too loud. Example, the music was too loud. So here is an adverb that shows us the degree, the level, the extent of the music. He said it was too, too loud. That is, he chose the extent of the music. Now, another example is this. My mother is very important to me. My mother is very important to me. The adverb of degree here is very because it shows how important the length, the extent at which your mother is important to you. Very is the word that shows that. I hope you are following me. Let's start from the beginning. We have adverb of place, adverb of time, adverb of degree. Now, we will quickly move to adverbs of frequency. We have a lot of them. There are so many. But I'm going to stop at this number four which is adverb of frequency. 
adverb of frequency. Now, let's take a look at adverb of frequency. Adverb of frequency. Adverb of frequency tells us how often an action is being performed. How often an action is being performed. How often an event takes place. For example, we have often, we have seldom, we have never, we have occasionally. Also, we have daily, twice, hourly, every week, and so on and so forth. Always is part of the example. Now, let me give you this example. I never eat after 7 p.m. 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 This one shows us how frequent, how frequent an action is being performed. Don't forget that we are under adverb of frequency. Adverb of frequency. It shows how frequency an action is being performed. I never. That means not at all. That he has. He, he, he doesn't eat. That is, I never eat after 7 p.m. Never is showing us that. Never. It's showing us. Uh, the frequency of the adverb of frequency here. Yeah. Another one here is twice. I traveled to Lagos twice. Twice shows us the frequency. That is, it mentioned. It shows us the frequency of adverb. It shows us the frequency adverb of frequency. How many times do you travel to Lagos? Twice. Just twice. Do you understand? Do you understand? Now, quickly, let's move to position of adverb. Position of adverb. The position of adverbs. Adverbs can be found at the beginning of a word, I mean, of a sentence at the middle of a sentence or at the end of a sentence. Adverb can be found at the middle of a, at the beginning of a sentence, at the middle of a sentence, and at the end of a sentence. For example, recently, he had an, an accident. Recently, he had an accident. Recently, he had an accident. Recently is the adverb here. That is, we can find adverb at the beginning of a sentence. Here, recently is the adverb, and it was found at the beginning of what? Written at the beginning of the sentence. Recently was found at the beginning of the sentence. Position of adverbs. Position of adverbs. I said earlier on that adverbs can be at the beginning of a sentence or at the middle of a sentence or at the end of a sentence. We can have adverb at the beginning of a sentence, at the middle of a sentence or at the end position of a sentence. Let's look at these three examples. Now, recently he had an accident. Recently, he had an accident. If you want to put your adverb at the beginning of a sentence, you will need the, you, you will make use of the uh, of comma, a comma before the subject. It comes right before the subject. He here is the subject. Recently comes before he. And if you look at it very well, you will see a comma there. So recently, he had an accident. That is the correct sentence. Look at the second one. The second one, we find the adverb at the middle of the sentence. 
He recently had an accident. He recently had an accident. Look at where recently is there. He recently, he was placed after the subject, but before the verb. After the subject, but before the verb, he was, it modified. So he recently had an accident. Lastly, let's look at the last position, that is the end position of an adverb in a sentence. He was involved in an accident recently. He was involved in an accident recently. If you look at the structure or the, the, the words that form the, 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 the last sentence, you, you see that we include involved. Then we rephrase, we restructure it. It is not the same way we um, structure the first sentence or the second sentence. We do not um, structure the third one the same way. We have to, you know, modify it. He was involved in an accident recently. So recently is found at the end position of that sentence. I hope with this little uh, explanation, now you know the position of adverb, the function, the, some functions, not of, some functions of adverb, the forms of adverb, forms of adverb, I hope you still remember the forms of adverb where I told you that with adjective, you can form adverb from adjective, adding L, Y, the suffix L, Y to them. Then the meaning of adverb. With this explanation, I hope you are good to go. Check the assignment corner for your assignments. Have a wonderful day.